Should you wear a tennis elbow or golfer's elbow brace? It's not a simple question. I'm gonna to try to answer this as best I can today using the most up-to-date research that we can. It could help you. There could be benefit to it and it also could hurt you. We're gonna get into that in this video. I'm Dr. Sean Hiller. I'm the owner of Vulcan Performance Rehab and Recovery. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a certified strength conditioning specialist. I'm gonna walk you through whether or not you should wear a brace or not. This is a very viable question. I have pain, will a brace help? Should I wear a brace? Is this a good thing? We're gonna answer those questions today in this video and give you some relief moving forward with golfers or tennis elbow. So first off, do you actually have tennis elbow or golfer's elbow? If you are having pain right here and it hurts whenever you flex your wrist or resist that wrist flexion, then you likely have golfer's elbow. If you are having pain right here in this area and it hurts whenever you extend your wrist or resist that wrist extension and that hurts right here, then you likely have tennis elbow. Congratulations, so now you're wondering, do I need a brace? Will a brace help my issues? Will they hurt my issues? First off, you do not have to be a golfer or a tennis player to have golfer or tennis elbow. Those are just layman's terms for lateral and medial epicondylitis, which is, this is the lateral side of your elbow and itis, this is the epicondyle of the lateral side of your elbow. Itis just means inflamed. So you have an inflamed lateral epicondyle, same thing vice versa for the medial epicondylitis. Both lateral and medial epicondylitis are inherently muscular and tendinous issues. So how is a brace that's gonna affect your anatomy going to change how your muscular symptoms feel? That's a great question, and there's a lot of theory behind it that we're not sure about. So what will a brace do for a muscular issue? Well, the idea is a brace is going to put lateral force into your forearm while the other side of the brace is stabilizing, and that is going to shift how your muscles contract. It's going to shift the kinematics of your elbow, hopefully to a point to where it dissipates pain. That is the thought behind a brace. I think personally, and we actually have some evidence supporting this, simply applying pressure or force to an area, regardless of where the force is, is gonna have some type of analgesic effect. We call it a tension principle. It's gonna have some type of analgesic effect. So the fact that you're putting force or pressure through an area could definitely decrease your painful symptoms. There's a few different types of braces. You have a counterforce brace, you have a dynamic brace, you have a dynamic counterforce brace, you just have a pressure brace. The good thing is with the research is it doesn't seem that one brace is better than the other. And there are mounds and mounds of research behind this. In the description, I'll put a few of the research articles that we looked at. And I think the two that I'll put down there really sum up well what's going on. So we've got evidence that a brace could be helpful. It could decrease your pain when they compared it to placebo. Then we have another study that says that a brace was no more effective than placebo. So what do we do? Should you brace? So if a brace is either going to help you or not make a difference, it's not going to hurt you in the short term. So therefore it can be a viable option for you. So if you are having this tennis or golfer's elbow and you're having significant pain, you, you can't seem to go a day, it's affecting your sleep. Sleep's a huge thing. If you're not sleeping, sleep is where you secrete 72 or 75% of your human growth hormone levels you gotta get sleep. So if you're not having sleep, it may be helpful to wear a brace. But wearing a brace in the short term is likely not going to hurt you. Hopefully it can help you get over that painful hump, allow you to do some rehab. We have a video on tennis elbow and a video on golfer's elbow about how to do your rehab on your own to get past these issues, to move past them. We will put those links in the description. We'll also link to them later on in the video so you can check those out. So you don't just have to wear a brace, you can actually do these exercises maybe while you're wearing the, br the brace and it should help you and get you past all this. But wearing a brace in the short term isn't going to affect you as much. In fact, it could be very helpful to get you over that painful hump. The problem comes in when we get into long-term brace wearing or long-term orthotics. Anytime you wear something to support your body, it's gonna have repercussions in a long-term perspective. So what does that mean? So your body, once you put a brace on or an orthotic or something that is supportive on your body, your body starts to think, oh wow, something external is supplying my need, is doing this for me. Why am I wasting energy to try to do it myself? So the body starts to shut down activation, 
the energy that it takes to have a certain kinematic of the body, it starts to shut that down and let, and let the brace do all the work for it. That's not a good thing because when you take the brace off, when you take the orthotic off, now you don't have any type of input from the body and the symptoms tend to get quite a bit worse and the, the issue itself, your diagnosis, tends to get a lot worse because all of that support is gone now. So in the long term, we don't want to become addicted to a brace. We want to avoid that. Use it in the short term, use it when you need to, but if you catch yourself being a, like, I have to have my brace when I get out of bed in the morning, I have to put my brace on throughout the day because the pain's so bad, that is not a good thing. That's a sign of, of kinematic addiction. We don't want to deal with that because now you're now you have to have this this brace to get you through life that's where doing corrective exercises and rehab can really help it can move you away from the brace and get you back to your everyday life and that's really really beneficial there's several several tools you can use to rehab and get back to a normal life get back to your baseline without a brace so wearing the braces short term could be really helpful long term they're probably going to have negative effects on you so we won't we want to avoid that so in the short term if you think you need a brace get a brace it could help you we will put links in the description for some of the braces that we like some of the braces that we've used in our clients and have seemed to help but the common theme with every brace that we've ever given to someone or every brace that anyone has ever used when they come to see us is our job is trying to wean them off of the brace get away from this assistive device and take your body teach it how to stabilize itself and use your body instead of the brace to do the stabilization and that's essentially what a brace is trying to do it's trying to create some type of force to create stability so you want to do that on your own braces kill up in the short term but let's get away from them long term like i said we have a video on tennis elbow and golfer's elbow that should be able to help you if you do them consistently and get you past this brace if this has helped you then please like this video subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an opportunity to enhance what moves you. We'll see you on the next video. This is the Vulcan Blog.